How many kick-ups can you do? It was at this moment that Nathan knew. He fucked up. Right, so hey guys, what's going on? My name is Alex and today I am in Spain. As you can see, we've got a new set. I've got my shades on, which I'm gonna take off for this video because I don't want them on. I don't wanna look too cool for school. But anyway, yes, uh, I am in Spain, guys, and I'm here for the next four weeks. Uh, four or three weeks, I think, give or take. So uh, I do have some videos pre-recorded for you guys back at home, uh, and they are on scheduled upload. I've got some uh, Minecraft mini games for you guys and some other surprise content which I'm going to be doing out here in Spain for you guys. But nevertheless, guys, I'm going to record and ask me today, and I thought it would be quite cool to do it uh, in Spain and have the new set and just have it a little bit different, so hopefully all the camera quality in the audio and I'm going to try and edit this on Final Cut and I hate Final Cut, I need to try and get used to it. But anyway guys, let's get on with some questions. So I always like to preface by saying if you want to ask me any questions, head over to Twitter um, and follow me at Mars While Gaming and then ask me the question, uh, tweet me the question with the hashtag AskMars, that's A-S-K-A-M-R-Z and you guys can ask me some questions and maybe you'll get featured in the show, so let's do this. What has been the best moment of your YouTube career? Now, I don't have a clue, like there's loads of cool stuff, like meeting you guys at, um, at Eurogamer, that was absolutely incredible. Like I went to Eurogamer thinking that I was going to meet like I don't know, five or six people, uh, because like I knew like five or six people were coming directly just to see me. But I met hundreds of you guys, loads of you guys come in just to the event, and then you're like, oh my god, is that Mars by Gaming? And then you came up to me and like I signed your guys shirts and books and wrote little notes for your friends, and we had pictures together. And the interaction in that is just absolutely incredible. It made it that much more surreal that this whole thing is awesome. And I, I hate. YouTube as in like growing. I don't want to grow because the more I grow the more interaction I will lose with you guys. As you guys know I try to interact with you guys with this series. You guys can ask questions. Uh, I try to stay active on Twitter, uh, I've got the Facebook page. All these are linked in the description. We've even got the fan Snapchat guys. If you guys want to add me on Snapchat we've got the fan Snapchat going on. All the links are in the description uh, of the video right below that like button. But yeah, just the interaction with you guys, having someone to talk to, if I'm ever like lost or I've got any troubles or anything, I can tweet it out and then, you know, you guys are always there to reply. I like, you guys are just amazing and I want to thank you for all the awesome support, leaving all the live ratings and all the comments and all the interaction, guys. The interaction is what makes this whole thing and without the interaction there, it just, it wouldn't be what it is. It just, it just wouldn't, and that goes to any YouTuber. YouTube wouldn't be what it is today without the interaction from the audience and that is just what makes it absolutely incredible. What are you planning for the future regarding YouTube? Now that is a very good question because I've been thinking about that a lot recently while I've been away. Um, when you're away you have a lot of spare time just to chillax and think about what, you know, the future and what, what, what's going to happen. Um, and YouTube is a huge part of my life. It is uh, my job as well as my hobby. Uh, I entertain you guys for a living and it's absolutely awesome and I, I couldn't ask for anything better. So. Thinking of, of what you guys want is my main priority at the moment in sort of life, if you like, um, as well as friends and family. Uh, however, thinking what I want to do for the future of YouTube, I don't know. I, I, I think YouTube gaming is dying, as you guys know. Um, I've, I've done a video on that if you guys want to go on the channel and find out. I've done quite an in-depth video on how I think YouTube and gaming is sort of dying. Uh, but I do want to carry on doing gaming videos for as long as I can because I started out doing gaming videos. The channel's called Mars Bar Gaming, as you guys know. So it'd be stupid for me to totally pack up gaming. Uh, but you know, we've got Call of Duty Advanced Warfare coming out, and a lot of people are thinking this is going to be amazing because Sledgehammer are on the job at making the game. Um, there's, there's, there's loads of cool games coming out, guys, and I think if we just pursue, stick through the battle, and just just carry on going forward with the gaming, then. Uh, I think we'll be alright, uh, I really do think we will because we've got like the, the biggest channel on YouTube, I think it's PewDiePie's, uh, he's a gaming guy and he still gets a lot of views so I wouldn't say gaming on YouTube is dying, it's just not as popular as it used to be. So we're still going to carry on doing gaming videos, maybe two or three maybe gaming videos a week, uh, but then the other portion of the videos is going to be vlogs on this channel and uh, real life videos like this with the professional camera and Ask Me and the series like that and, and maybe a few special day in the lives here and there. 
But I've also got my tech channel, which I'm really, really, really pushing forward on at the moment. I've got some uh, really cool companies sending me some products for, uh, for review for you guys, some really cool products. And I always try and get you guys some money off um, the equipment that I get to review. So if you guys want to go over to my tech channel, look at the reviews there. The last video on there I think was a gaming chair review and I actually got you guys 5% off. Uh, which is quite a lot because it was an expensive chair and it's really nice. So yeah, I really like the tech aspect of YouTube and I think that's still up there and it's still going very well. So I'm still trying to push forward in that. But yeah, I've got my two channels, MBGT, the tech channel, and Marsbar Gaming, uh, this channel. And uh, on this channel we're going to do like 50-50 gaming and 50-50 vlogs. And on the tech channel it's just purely tech and having a good time. So yeah, that's my future in YouTube. What does it feel like to have 30,000 subscribers? By the way, I'm a huge fangirl. Ah, uh, no, thank you for the question, huge fangirl. Um, yeah, what does it feel like? It, it's, it's strange, um, it really is. When I was younger, um, I'm talking like 12, now I'm 17, but 12, when I was 12, uh, if I was to think that I would ever get 30,000 subscribers, um, it would, it would, it would, I don't know, I, I, it would have been my absolute world. It would have been incredible. But I'm going to be totally honest with you guys, any of you who have larger channels on YouTube or have, um, I don't like to use the term YouTube success, but if you have been successful in YouTube in that you have quite a large following, um, it's really strange actually, it's really strange to think that, you know, if you started a new channel and you uploaded a video that there would be no views and that you would have to start again, whereas the whole YouTube aspect when you have a following is much easier because you can get feedback on what you what you do on your videos and it makes you want to do more of them uh, but it's not as amazing as you think it is because when you you know when you have a smaller channel and you're trying to you know pump out loads of videos and you know get your channel off the ground and get a little following um, it, it's all good because you know you don't really have that big of a following so you can do the videos that you want but when you have some sort of following on your channel you have to make sure that you are producing content that people are going to enjoy. And the constant struggle in my head is when I'm editing or rendering a video or recording a video, I'm, I'm thinking, are the people, are my followers going to enjoy this video? And it's quite a hard struggle. I've heard YouTubers talk about it before uh, in quite a serious manner, actually. But um, sometimes YouTubers can get in some sort of, they, they trap themselves in a box because they think, you know, they get in denial and they think my, my, my followers aren't going to enjoy the videos and then they get all worked up in the head. I've been there before guys, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've been scratching my head for days thinking, what content can I make? No one's going to enjoy it because it's really strange. You won't understand it unless you experience it, but it, it's more demanding having a big following because you have to make videos uh, and you feel like, you know, you let people down if you don't. Because some people in the comments, they're like, Alex, you haven't uploaded for three days. You're shit. I'm like, well, 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 Ah, but anyway, yeah, it's it's fun because you've got a good following and your followers can interact with you and give you feedback on your content and uh, make you laugh, make you smile, and also you get the haters, which are just hilarious. Um, however, it, it's more demanding on yourself because you know you've got to make content and you've got to make sure that people are going to enjoy it. You can't just put up any old rubbish. Um, you've got to make sure that you know people are going to enjoy it. So it's fun, but it's challenging. I'll leave it at that. Who are you? Um, um, well, uh, I'll, I'll let this guy explain. Right, so guys, I want to thank you very much for watching this episode of Ask Me. If you have enjoyed, guys, then a like rating is much appreciated. And guys, tell me in the comment section down below, uh, if you had a bigger channel, do you think you would feel under pressure to upload? Or do you think you would just take it easy and do what you want? I want to hear what you guys have got to say. Um, and guys, if you want the shout out series coming back, because I know a lot of people have you know, asked me for it on Twitter, then please let me know also in the comment section down below, do you want the shout out series to come back where I look at your guys' channels for a week or so and then pick the best three and show you guys how to improve? Um, I really enjoy doing that guys, so let me know if you want that back in the comment section down below. As always, my name's been Alex. Hit me up on Twitter if you have any questions. I'm always on Twitter, guys. Even though I'm in Spain, I'm still interacting with you guys. My name's been Alex. You guys have been awesome. I'll see you in the next video. Adios.